23 on our channel, it's our show journey series 3, episode 3. Today we're traveling on the RPSI Port Rush Flyer from Belfast Central Station. In charge of our train today is number 85 Merlin. You've seen her featuring on my episodes plenty of times before. And yet again we have her from Haulage. Should be a good one. We've got a nice day for it too. We're travelling, uh, as you know, in the Mark II coaches. And interrupts again. But uh, the coach we're currently in is a XBR Mark II coach. Uh, nice coach. Uh, we are allocated to coach number 300, which is an XMIR Mark II. And that's just far up the train. But we're getting ready for departure here, so um, sit back, relax, and enjoy today's programme.
Okay guys, we are now in Portrush. Yep, first time uh, one of my episodes I've visited here. We're just about to jump on this 3000 class unit, number 3023, and head to Dubarn. We're going to get the Steam Special heading back to Cool Rain. Uh, it now goes to Cool Rain to be, uh, as near to the local, can be turned for the run back to Belfast this, this evening. We're, we're going to board 3023 here and head to Dubarn. This is the 1403 to Cool Rain. Here we are in Dubang. Three hundred two three. When I head on to Great Victoria Street, as you can see, this station also has a Somerset signal as well as Port Rush. Beautiful signals. Three hundred two three. About to head to Great Victoria Street. here in a minute. And there she goes. I actually can't even call those units she's there it goes is more, is more like uh, the way you should be describing three thousands. At least I'm waiting for a proper train to go through after this thing clears the section. You can see yourself, uh, as you can see for yourself, uh, Duvarn is a nice wee halt. Uh, and now we're waiting for the Portrush Fire to go through. Here comes the 1453 service to Port Rush. This is our train back to obviously Port Rush. What have we got? 4019. Whoa. There's Stephen down there. And look at this, perfect. Steven's going to get on the far side, he's got a lift of it. Okay. Press it open and close again. Open and close, open and close. Hardly set it. Let the center got activated. for the car to lock the doors now, and then we'll be off, around to Port Rush. Yeah, there's Danny. This is our group today, there's Danny. <laughs> Sean, and as you saw earlier on, Stephen, who's down the back of the train. We're leaving the nice wee halt of g -Barring. Signal. And look at this for a few for a view.
sadly the uh, token system that you saw being handed, you know, the uh, that you saw being used uh, with the driver of the Steam Special. Um, you saw the token being exchanged to the driver of Korean. Sadly, that system is being withdrawn in November of this year. But thankfully, what I hear, the signals are remaining here. Just briefly stopped there to hand in our token to the single man. This is unit 4019, we're in car 4519. There's Barry's Amusements, one of Port Rush's more popular attractions here in the summer. We are at the beautiful coastal station. This train terminates here. Please ensure that you take all your personal belongings with you when leaving the train. Thank you for traveling with us. Wait, no, wait. Speak me after. Port Rush. Now we're going to go and get ourselves in position for 85 coming back in from Korean. Uh, we're now waiting for 85 to return from Korean. There's Stephen. Alright. Um, yep, he came all the way from Dublin uh, to here. That's it, yeah. The north coast of Northern Ireland. The other side of the country. Yep. And uh, we found ourselves a good wee spot here, uh, just outside the station. There's the station right there. Station clock there, also in the middle. Sadly, it no longer works. And see, this is the view we get looking towards Korean. So look at your defense. There you go. Yep, this is the view we get. It's, it's actually pretty good, actually, because as well you can see the uh, the home signal there. Yeah, it's a pretty good view. And uh, put this back through the vent again. Hold on, bear with me. Yeah, there's a nice wee breeze here because it's been a warm day. Um, but yeah, it's a good day so far. Uh, still plenty more action to go. Ah, uh, that's it. So yeah, uh, actually, I'll show you this. Uh, this is something for the bus enthusiasts. Right beside the bus depot, which is bloody small. But it's just a shame the two buses that are in our view are Actually, two all scrappers. They're all so large, mate. Well, there's a there's a right uh, there's a right school run just uh, at the back there. You can't really get a good view of it, but you can just about see it there. Three, two, one. Get two, three, get two, seven. Yeah, these are th those ones at the front are Scania sewers. They're absolute heaps of rubbish. That's what they are. Shit. Yeah, well said. Yeah. You can hear the racket of Barry's amusements over there. Let's uh, show you it. There it is over there. That's Barry's amusements. As you 
saw we got our 4,000 that we caught from Duvarn uh, departing uh, for Korean. Half yeah. right, so yeah. 10 minutes to wait. Sadly. Yeah. So am I. But uh, yeah, after 85 gets in, uh, we'll catch her running around. Then uh, we'll go and get something to eat in the town. Uh, probably have a wee quick dander along the beach. And then uh, we'll head back to the station for boarding for the run back to Belfast. So, until 85 gets in, that is going to be it for now. Okay, we're still at Port Rush here, um, just waiting for our departure time back to Belfast, uh, but you might notice there's something missing. 85 is missing. You might have noticed when she came in, she was going boiler first. That's because they couldn't get her turned in chlorine, due to the APT machine being parked on the turntable road. So yeah, that wasn't too good. Um, but she has been sent light to Korean to be turned now, so uh, she'll be back shortly. Um, then we'll be on the way for Belfast. Hopefully, we'll still get an on-time departure. But yeah, um, currently I am standing underneath one of these, one of the somersault signals that can be found here at Port Rush. Ancient signals. Still in use, but only when either platforms two or three are being used. And any other day when only one platform is being used, this platform here that I'm standing on is the main platform. The cabin will be switched out of use. But on other days, like I say, when platforms two and three are in use, the cabin is switched in, and the token system is used. Well, the token system will be used up until November. Then there'll be history. Sadly, but you saw in the last shot there, you saw 402's driver getting the uh, token and the signal going back up. Proper signaling, that's what it is. Anyway, we're just waiting here for 85, she'll be here shortly. So that's going to be it until she arrives.
guys, as you can see, uh, I'm now back at base, I'm now back home after an absolutely fantastic day on the Portrush Flyer. Merlin performed absolutely fantastic, the weather was beautiful, the Mark IIs were great, we had a nice seat in XNR Mark II, number 300. Um, yeah, absolutely fantastic day, I've, I don't think I've ever seen a Portrush Flyer run so smoothly. At any point when we did fall behind time, we made that time up in no time. But yeah, wow, what a day. There's only one downside to the day though. We did miss the first Belmont Grand Hibernian test to Belfast. Yeah, and 216 wasn't even on it. It was 233. She hasn't been up here in a while. Yeah, that's the downside to the day. Did miss that. But. It's not all to worry about. The Belmont's running its first passenger run to Belfast next Saturday, so bring it on. Only having our six days to wait, and then I'm going to see it up north. Lovely. Um, so, yeah, we've came to the end of today's episode of In Our Chairman's Our Show Journeys. It's been an absolute fantastic day. I hope you've enjoyed this trip to the North Coast. Um, yeah, so. That's everything guys, stay tuned for upcoming episodes of the series and more videos of you know, the standard trains, <laughs> north and south, and also the Belmont Grand Hibernian. If you listen carefully you can hear the Enterprise going past my house, that is the 7 o'clock Enterprise from Dublin. Yeah I do live right beside the next, you know, I do live beside the railway line. And also. There's one person, or well, one thing I'd like to thank for providing this great day, and it's this big beauty. I'd like to thank her for putting on an absolute fantastic show today. Shame the coaches are not the same though. But you know, Mark twos are pretty good. Still prefer Cravens though. But. Oh yeah, I will be on the Cravens in October and going on in the A071 class realtor. So but that should be good. Um so yeah, we now this is the end of NR Trayman's Hour Show Journey Series 3, Episode 3. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, so guys, all I have to say now is goodbye guys and thanks for watching. <laughs>